One of the Yellow Bell's biggest rivalries takes center stage as Liz Gorman and the Tampa Breeze venture into hostile territory to take on Christy Bell and the Philadelphia Passion next on LFL Friday Night Football. From the home of the 2010 Eastern Conference champion Philadelphia Passion, about 30 miles north of Philly in Trenton, New Jersey, this is Sun National Bank Center. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom Dorr. Dave Bissips alongside Biz. Eastern Conference semifinals last year were a hard fought matchup. These two teams have developed into a pretty good rivalry. Tommy, I don't know much of a rivalry it is, but seriously, Philly's own Tampa. They're 3 0 lifetime against them. And I'll tell you, I know Chandler and Yo real well because I've had beers with them down in Cabo. But I'll tell you right now, if Yo actually pulls out a win tonight, it's a huge feather in his cap because I don't know if it's going to happen. Yo Murphy will be handicapped through the suspension of four of his starters. Suspended players include what developed as a great combination quarterback KK Matheny and wide receiver Bryn Renda, LFL's all time leading rusher Tiffany Powers, and center Tracy Wilmer. Now let's get onto the field. Third member of our broadcast team, Lauren Gardner, who's with Tampa Breeze head coach and former St. Louis Rams wide receiver Yo Murphy to talk about those suspensions in such a big game. Thanks a lot, Tommy. Coach, what happened? Four players suspended this game, three of them impact players. Can you tell us the reasoning behind the suspension? Well, this offseason and this year we preach commitment. Um, the players had a lapse in commitment, and, you know, we, we said for every action there's a reaction, and that, that had to be our reaction. And, you know, it's obviously going to hurt us, like you said, three impact players, but, you know, we got it. The train's got to keep moving. You know, we still love them, and they're part of our team, but, you know, we just had to do it to form our team. Thank you very much, Coach. Good luck tonight, guys. Setting a tough, firm example here with the Tampa Breeze. All right, thanks, Lauren. Now, fans, be sure to visit LFLFantasy.com and play our fantasy game tonight. So far this season, in a battle of our broadcast team, Biz continues to lead, but I finished sixth in the nation last week to bump Lauren down to third. Tonight, my player to watch, Tampa quarterback Denisha Crawford. Hey, I'm looking at Philly's MVP candidate, Mary Rose Roach. Biz, once again, you always take the easy pick. I'm going with former soccer star from University of Tampa, Tampa running back Sage Steinmetz. Picks are in. We know how much these teams hate each other. Now let's see which team will stake its claim to being the elite in the East. Kickoff is next. Welcome back. There's Chandler Brown, 2010 LFL Coach of the Year. Before the game, we heard him in the locker room. All right, ladies, we've got to get out here. We're going to hit hard. We're going to play fast. We're going to slam them. instantly. Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? Let's go play. All right, we are set. Kickoff is coming up. Liz Gorman set to kick it off. I saw Tyra Lusby back deep to receive along with Mary Rose Roach. That's a pretty good combo back deep to receive, Coach. I tell you right now, I'm looking forward to this uh, kickoff. But they won't feel like the NFL. This is actually going to be run back, I think. Liz Gorman, such a terrific pound-for-pound -pound football player. Philly favored by eight and a half. The over/under 46 and a half. A lot of points expected to be put up. Well, the scoreboard will be working tonight, I'm sure. Liz, that was, she wasn't talking to the officials. She's talking to the fans, the Philly fans, trying to get them excited. She's not scared at all of anybody. She hits hard. She hits. Hard. She she's the most aggressive person on the Tampa Bay team. She's going to get them going tonight. Here comes Gorman. Here is the kick. Very high. Very nice kick. Goes back to the end zone, and here she comes. Bring it across the right side. Out to the 10. Gets it out to about the 13 or 14 yard line. Roach right back at the end. Brings it out, and terrific job by Roach. Quarterback is Christy Bell. Bell was a terrific co MVP of the uh, All Fantasy game. Really played well. She came in in the second half in relief and was just outstanding. A superstar now at quarterback. 
So they'll have it right at the 15 yard line. Must be as wide to the right. Here's the give. The 2010 Player of the Year, Roach. Here she is across the 25 into Tampa territory. Inside the 20 yard line, Julie Rolfe with a tough tackle. Big first down for Philly. Well, I tell you right now, right away, Phil's going to the strength of run. I tell you, Lauren LaBella kicked out. Kicked it, kicked out the end for Tampa, and I tell you, it was a great game by the MVP right there, Mary Rose Roach. Fake a give to Roach, second back goes right up the middle inside the 10, down to about the nine yard line. Liz Gorman with the tackle. And that was Jenny Butler on the carry. Butler, who plays outdoor football 11 on 11. Here's our starters. There's Christy Bell, superstar quarterback. Got a chance to really just continue to shine. Whitney Peronich could have a breakthrough season. Give goes to Roach, cut back, makes a move around the outside, comes inside the five, down to the one, and touchdown! Late signal by the official. Six points go up on the board. Oh my God, did you just see that? That's, a, that's what makes her an MVP. She literally changes directions on a fly and doesn't care. They're trying to grab it at all angles. I'm telling you right now, look at this tackle. I don't think so. I don't think so. She stretches it out. That is a girl that has a second half, second half, that will that's there to win the game. I tell you, I wish I, I wish we could have a lot of girls like this in the league. She is the MVP of the league right now. Going for one here. Again, the deuce backfield with Butler and Roach. Lone receiver. <laughs> Is set on the left side, and it's Roach and Mary Rose. Roach is going down. Courtney Wilder with the tackle, and you're telling me that's James Wilder's daughter, right? That is James Wilder's daughter. Great play. Well, let's look back at the touchdown right here. Look at his misdirection. Boom. You know something? She did a lot of that all on her own right there. That's that's a look at this cut right now. She's coming back here. Arm tackles. Uh oh, that was a little wardrobe malfunction. There you go. Reaching out and got, got across the goal line. I tell you, that second effort by her is the difference between her and a lot of other runners in this league. She does not quit at all. And I tell you, that's what makes the difference to Philly's running game. Roach is the strong safety. Gibb comes around the left side and fumbled the football. Now, let's say if they say she was down, she was. They'll say she was down, and Tampa will retain. Jenna Robertson with the tackle will be second and six after about a four yard game. Sage Steinmetz with the carry. Jenny Butler also in at the stop. Second and six. Now motion comes out to the right side. That's a give. That's Wilder. Comes along the left side. She's inside the 20 down to about the 19 yard line. That's a nice first down. As Courtney Wilder brings it along the left side. Again, her dad was one of the one of the really good running backs in the NFL for the Tampa Bay Bucks from the University of Missouri. Yes, your alma mater. I wouldn't forget that. Denisha Crawford and uh, the quarterback with Sage Steinman stepping up for the suspended Tiffany Powers. Liz Gorman leaned up, worked hard on speed. It could be a real impact. Quick pass goes to the right side. That's caught. Nice catch by Julie Rolf. To Lisa McCrary there on the stop, gain of what about three or four? Let's make it a four yard gain, second and six. And Tampa moving right up the field. Oh, they're moving right up and down the field. And once again, they got the pass out of the way. They got to pass twice, and they got to run twice every four downs. That's a good first down play. Gibb yeah, goes along the right side. Gorman gets it inside the 15. She goes down to about the 12 or 13 yard line. She got hit hard. Whitney Peronish on the stop. To Lisa McCrary there as well. And it'll be third and a long three. Defense, uh, this is really an interesting defense for these guys. Angela Perfetto has made some huge stride this offseason. And of course, Jenny Butler, you're going to see a lot of her. What a huge hitter this lady is. Deuce backfield behind, and we've got motion. Well, you know, sometimes I like this right away with the refs. At least they got it right. We don't have to use a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. 18 offense, five yard penalty, third down. You know what I'm really impressed with is that that play by the center, um, Sammy Nevin. She gave on that misdirection by Wilder. She did a great job of kicking out, you know, Heather Roy, and to open up that hole. 
motion. That's Rolf who comes back behind Crawford. Now Steinman's comes in motion and it goes right back to Steinman. She's trying to get around the outside inside the 15 and she gets hit hard. Mary Rose Rose delivered a shot and Steinman's went into the wall down about the 11 yard line. A big gain, but oh, did she pay a price. Oh, she got lit up like a candy tree. I love it. Mary Rose in she came in and boom! Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. She's gonna feel that one tomorrow. I'm telling you, that's the kind of hit we like to see in the LFL. Ooh. Fourth down and a yard. And look at this again. Boom. Motion. That's Rolf who comes back behind again. Now Steinmetz goes out in motion to the left side. Quick pitch to the left side. Nice block by Steinmetz to open up the receiver. She's inside the five, down to about the four yard line. That's enough for a first down. A terrific block by Steinman. Oh. Liz Gorman with the catch and the first down. You know, they did a great job of setting this up. Steinman did a great job of going in motion and actually lighting up that corner so they could get that yard. Once again, quick screen, easy pass to Gorman, but Steinman set that up and she really did a great job of getting out on the corner. Um, Mary Rose. First and goal from about the five. Look at this. Oh, my. What a huge hit. Angela Perfetto. Woo! What a shot. Gotta love to see that by the end. That was one where she anticipated very well, made the hit, stood her up, and held her ground. I tell you one thing, they, she just blew up the, the right guard on that play. Um, she actually blew up the center, Sammy Nevin, right up the middle. And once again, she made sure that we got her in the backfield and put him back. Crawford may throw this time. No, it's a give right up the middle, and she'll get down to about the six yard line. Sage Steinman's on the run. Well, you know, some, once you're at this part of the goal line, what happens is it can be right up on top of you. They're on the 10 yard line. It's very hard to go under center and do a, a typical dive play. You have to give a little bit more room, so maybe in, you got to do it maybe a little bit more in um, shotgun formation, because right now they're right on top of them. We saw with Andrew Profetto, she just blew right through the line. It's very hard to hold them up. There's no three yard cushion like there is outside the 10 yard line. Deuce receiver split to the left side. They've got third and fourth down. They have to throw it both times over the middle. Almost intercepted. Oh my. Angela, Angela Perfetto had it in her hands and had green in front of her. Are you kidding me? That was right in your hands. That's a pick six right there. Unbelievable. You have to pass. They know that. Crawford throws it over the middle. She's got to grab that ball. That's in her hands. And no one's in front of her. She could have easy one pick six there. Fourth down, and they have to throw the they, ball. They have to throw. Once again, if you run a first and second down on the goal line, you're forced to throw. And once again, you should get those passes out of the way early in the thing so you have the option to run or pass. Motion. Fades back, throws. It's caught. Wilder's got it inside the five down to about the four. And Philadelphia will take over on downs. Perfetto there on the stop. We'll, we'll take a break. Nine minutes, 41 seconds left. We'll take a timeout. Six nothing passion with the lead after a terrific defensive stop. They've been, but didn't break. And here she goes. Mary Rose Roach, the MVP, around the left side for the touchdown. We'll be right back. Six nothing Philly with the lead 940 left. Pretty good rushing yards for both teams. Tampa got right down to the goal line but you got to punch that in. Now motion goes to the far side. Bell fakes a handoff first one now gets it to the second back through that's Jenny Butler. Butler gets across the five out to about the eight yard line. Tampa defense. Well you start with Sage Simons an athlete who's become a premier defensive end. She understands the game. She does so many things well. There's Steinmetz right in the middle. She's become a star in this league. And Liz Gorman, no player in the LFL on defense has more of an impact. It's that simple. Now Bell fades back. She's looking long, looking down the field, and that one's overthrown. Oh, that was just, that really wasn't a very good throw by Christie coming out here. It's her first throw, maybe a little opening game jitters, but she had such a great 
fantasy game. I thought she'd come in here really poised, ready to go, but that was her first throw of the night. Maybe she's hyped up because it's the first game of the season, but that was really well, that was way overthrown. She had the girl open. She just got to get her on target. So now it's third down. They, uh, they have a pass left and a run, and I wouldn't be surprised to see the pass on this one. It may be called a pass, but it goes to Roach. Look out! 15, 20, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, down to the, about the four-yard line. Mary Rose Roach can flat play this game. <laughs> Courtney Wilder saved the touchdown, but I'll tell you right now, that's that little shuffle pass. That is a pass. Okay, and we used it a lot in LA. We had a little shuffle pass in front. It's considered a pass because you got to pass white. Once again, a little shuffle up front, and boom, and guess what? That's Mary oh, Rose. Great Rose. block. Oh, amazing block right there. Kicked it out. That was that was um, Angela Perfetto. She did a great job of knocking her out. Now Roach will move to the quarterback as Butler will move to the tailback. A little She's bit of wildcat. Back there. A little bit of wildcat here. And now we've got a flag down. Delay a game. Okay, you call. Passion is called a timeout prior to delay a game. That's their second charge timeout of the half. They're done. So Chandler Brown uses his only timeout of the first half. Seven minutes, 37 seconds left. Six nothing, Passion with the lead, and they are on a roll, led by the MVP, Mary Rose Roach. Back in, back in Trenton, New Jersey, Mary Rose Roach, three rushes, 61 yards and a TD. She is the MVP of this league, clearly. You see some highlights here. And by the way, this is Liz Gorman, who just annihilates her on that shot. And this is against Miami. What a run. You're going to beat the entire defense. Everybody missed her on this one, and she took it to the house, which she can do. Now Roach in, in at quarterback is going to keep it. Comes around the right side and is in. Her second touchdown of the game. Mary Rose Roach in for six more. Hey, once again, Mary Rose Roach, MVP of this league. And once again, Chandler told us in, in earlier today, he says, I put her in the backfield, and if she sees no one open, the best option she had is running the football. And that's a good option. Ah, she, she is phenomenal. Like, she's Barry Sanders and Jim Brown, and look at this. You can't touch her, and she's got that speed. I mean, she's speed and quickness. She's got the power. She's got everything. Now, she is in in a lone backfield set at quarterback. She'll look, steps up, throws. Oh, nice defensive play to break that up. Julie Rolfe knocked that away. Let's look at that touchdown one more time, Biz. Look at this. She's back, back. No one's open. No one's open. What is her best option? Take off. Because you can't catch it. Oh, no. And, and, and the thing about it is, is, as Chandler said, hey, he, he said, give her two seconds. If you don't see anyone open, you better run, Mary, Mary Rose, because that's, that's our best option. She is a fan favorite in Philly, and I don't think anyone would question why. Oh, she she is the best player in the league, and I tell you right now, she's the most unstoppable player in the league. We couldn't stop her. This, we couldn't stop her in the in the Andre ball. And, and she had gotten hurt. Oh, she wasn't hurt. We couldn't stop her at all. They scored every time touch ball. And three play, four play drives. Oh. Just because she is so good. Now Crawford puts Gorman in motion. Comes to the near side. Now Rolf goes in motion behind Crawford. It's a give right at the middle. There's stage Simon. And she's going to get across the 20 out to about the 23 yard line. Sinead Thomas on the stop. And Thomas, for a player that wasn't scheduled to play a lot, Biz has been a big part of this defense for Philly early. She saved a good, she saved the first down there. And once again, it's good misdirection. They say that we're going to use Sage a lot in multiple formations, multiple places. They're their, that's our go to running back right now because Tiffany's on suspension. So right now, look at this. Shifting. Gorman, the back, is going to get it. Comes around the left side, looking to get inside. Makes a nice cut. First down and more for Liz Gorman. Down to about the 21-yard line. Heather Roy with the stop. Gorman, a nice cutback, Biz. She looked like she was going outside, came right back inside, and got that first down. Well, Lisa Zuckerman did a great job out there of blocking and kicking the cornerback out. And I tell you right now, that was the difference on that play. Whitney Peronish got blocked out. 
and made an easy first down for Liz. Fake to Gorman. And Luke throws, and this one's picked off to the 20. Midfield waits for her blockers. She's down to the 20 to the 18 yard line, and Philly is in business in Tampa territory. That was Julissa McCray right there. Chandler calls her the best quarterback in the LFL. She broke on this ball real good. Look at this ball. She came up, went underneath, and that was all she wrote. Great plot. Great saving tackle right there by Gorman. And now, up two scores, a chance to go up three. Hey, I tell you right now, Philly looks dominant. They haven't lost anybody on offense. It's the same offense as last year. They're running up and down the field. Quick pitch, no, Bears Rhodes comes right up the middle, makes a cut back, comes around the outside, breaks a great block. Look at her go, motors down inside the five to about the four yard line. Mary Rose Roach, I've heard a lot of comparisons. Jim Brown, Barry Sanders, I keep saying Walter Payton. She's everything. She's Walter Payton, Jim Brown, Barry Sanders, she has it all. She's got the moves, she's got the speed, she's got the power. But Whitney Piranis made a heck of a block on that play and did an amazing job in the corner and knocked her and gave her that extra few yards and that space to get downfield. Now yeah. remember, everyone's on the goal line here. Once again, Philly goes in a shotgun. Tampa goes under center, much different. And Roach is the quarterback. She is a very good passing quarterback. Rolls around the right side, throws the ball, and it's almost intercepted. That was a terrible decision. She goes down hard. She got hit right after she threw it. Yeah, that wasn't Liz a very Gorman good. Liz Gorman got her. That wasn't a very good decision by Roach right there. Julie Roffey should have had that play. Um, once again, here you go. Mary Rose. She had pressure on her. If you put pressure on her, keep her in the pocket. That's the best defense you can do on her. Now Christy Bell comes back in, steps up, oh, and was delivering a strike. And she just pumped fake once too many times. Julie Rolfe almost picked that baby off. Julie Rolfe's having a great game right now. I tell you right now, she's she's keeping them in the game. Last two plays, she she's knocked down the ball. But I'll tell you right now, what's great about these two plays? They're both passes. And Philly's best running the ball. And Christy Bell's in there. And Mary Rose Roach is in the backfield. Let's see who gets the ball. What a shock. Here comes Roach in some trouble. Right into her own defender. Now look out. She goes around the outside. Touchdown, Philly. Mary Rose Roach was in all kinds of trouble. Comes around the left side. Breaks out. Touchdown. Her third of the game. And Philly's up 18-0. Oh, are you kidding me? The penetration Sage got on, on Heather Roy, but it didn't matter because Mary Rose Roach, she made her own play out of it right here. Bottle up, and no, I don't think so. I don't think so. You got to get her in the backfield before she starts to make those moves. She's unbelievable. Bell, wild pass into the corner for the conversion. Good! A terrific catch in the corner of the end zone. Stephanie Orgy with the catch in the corner. Chandler Brown told us before the game, if we get down there and I get some guns, I'm going to throw a fade to her. And this is a heck of a catch, Coach. Christy Bell did a great job of lobbing it up where no one else could do it. It was an amazing catch, I tell you. He talked about that earlier. He said, hey, this girl can get up with anybody in the league. And she's raw, she's still learning the play, so she's not going to be used on a lot of sets, but he did tell me he was going to use down at the goal line. Wow. Wow. What else do you say? Here she comes around this left side and makes a terrific cutback. Now waiting, comes around the right side, and you just can't catch that. You almost have to put a spy on her. You, well, really you might have to put uh, two tied, two Tampa, spies. Their final timeout of the first half. 424 left. We'll take it with them. 20 to nothing. The Philadelphia Passion with the lead over the breeze of Tampa. And it has been the Mary Rose Roach Show so far tonight. And back inside the Sun National Bank Center.
got to agree. You, you, the one player you haven't stopped is Roach. This just in. Neither is anybody else since oh, she's been on the field. We couldn't stop her last year, and I, I don't know who in the league can. Crawford at quarterback. Now pitches back to Gorman, and Gorman hit hard right at the line of scrimmage. To Lisa McCrary and Heather Roy there on the stop, and Gorman got back to the line of scrimmage. Let's take a look at this again and listen in to Liz Gorman. Second and ten, fake a give. Now Crawford throws, and that pass almost intercepted. Heather Roy right there, and Roy did a really nice job, Biz, of stepping in front of the intended receiver, and darn near picked it off. They were looking for Sage Steinman's on the play. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, um, Philly's really owning Tampa right now. It's not even close. And Heather Roy's done a great job of putting the defense out there. And I'll tell you right now, I don't know what Tampa can do to change the, the, the dynamics right now. They have to do something. Delay give comes along the right side out across the 20, up to about the 21 yard line. Jenny Butler on the stop. Adrian Purnell. Adrian Purnell did a good job of getting outside and, and doing the misdirection. They did that with Sage earlier. Uh, they're trying to do something to get down the field. They passed once. It ran twice. Now this has to be a pass. Remember, every four downs, two passes, two runs. They got to do. That's the LFL rules. Sage Steinmetz is the back right next to Crawford. Crawford fades back, looks, steps up, throws, and that was a wounded duck. Miz, that had no chance. Absolutely no chance to get anywhere near the Slim, receiver. Slim to none. I'm telling you right now, they use Sage as a decoy, but they put her way out in the flat, and she wouldn't even get the first down if she would have got there. Mary Rose had her covered. Your best asset, you keep her in the backfield, get her downfield. She's the one you got to get to. I don't understand what Yo is doing. And now, now Philly has the football as they've taken over on downs at the Tampa 21 yard line. And this is this is slaughter. This is not close. No it isn't. And it's 233 left. If, if Philly doesn't score quickly knowing Chandler he's he's still going to run the ball and probably score in, in five minutes but um. or less <laughs> Bell fakes a give goes to Butler makes a cut right up the middle Butler gets down to the 10. Gang tackled down to about the nine yard line. Jenny Butler with a nice cutback. And Biz, we're talking about the running backs. This offensive line is doing an outstanding job at opening up holes you can drive a semi truck through. Elise Zuckelman on the stop. Oh, I'm telling you right now, with Heather Roy, you got, you got, you got Lauren LaBella, and, and I'm telling you, 15 is um, Jenny Robertson. They're a solid offensive line, a veteran offensive line. Bell throws and it is caught and dropped. <laughs> Christy Bell with a nice delivery there. Pass just was not quite held. Hold on. Whitney Peronish had it and dropped it. What does Whitney want? It's right in her hands. That's a touchdown right there. Christy got a ball right where she was supposed to have it, right in her hands. Right here. Look at great crossing route. Boom. You can't get better than that. No, that's that's right where a wide receiver would want the football. Oh, you got to have hands like that. You can't lose an opportunity, especially if you're a receiver on this team. You don't get many passes thrown to you. It's up mainly going to Roach. When you get a chance, you got to capitalize on it. Second down now. Bell is in the shotgun, is the lone setback. Looking, dancing, steps up and throws this one away. Very good decision, I think. She just decided, I can't find anybody open. I'm just going to throw this thing out of the end zone. Great decision by Christie. But you know even better? That front three we've been talking about, LaBelle, Roy, and Robertson, they did a great job of giving it all the time in the world. Tampa had no rush, and I don't understand it because they're right on top of them. The three, they're not three yards off. They're right on top of them. they got to get through that penetration. I don't understand what Tampa's doing. They're right on top of them. Those three just stood them up. I tell you, Philly's offensive line is is putting a hurting on that defensive line of Tampa, which we thought were going to be dominant. Third down now. Third down football at the nine-yard line. Give goes to Roach, comes around the left side. Powering forward. She's in. Yet another Tampa defensive lapse. Philly into the end zone. Mary Rose Roach, yet one more Philly touchdown. She broke through Adrian Purnell. Purnell had a shot at her to stop her at about the four-yard line, but what? 
Second will right here. Great kick out back like Jenny Butler and right here. Purnell had her. No, I don't think so. And you see Liz Gorman? She went down on one knee and she just juked her out of the way. Great job by Mary Rose. Wow. By the way, they had a two point conversion up a bit ago. They changed that to a one point conversion. Lob into the corner and she almost got that one. Orgy almost had that in the same play. A little fade to the corner. Let's take a look at this touchdown one more time, Biz. Oh, great move by Rose for once again. Purnell should have had her there. Gorman, oh, I don't think so. I apologize. She broke her ankles right there, I'm telling you. And you could see Liz Gorman get mad. The teammate had to come up and push Gorman away. Oh, yeah. Four she, rushing <laughs> touchdowns for Roach. Tampa does not have an answer, and they don't have a, a quarterback that's thrown downfield. She's sitting on the sideline suspended. Handoff goes along the left side. She'll get across the 20, out to about the 22. And she is taken down hard. Tampa's wasting, on the run. They're wasting too much time. This is a hurry up offense. We've had this problem with Joe before. In the last two minutes of the game, he's had some not very good time clock management. Oh, last year in the Eastern Conference Finals, absolutely. Crawford fakes a give, now rolls out. Looking, steps up, throws, and this one's caught by Wilder. And she's inside the 20, down to about the 16 yard line. That's a first down for Tampa. Clock running, just under a minute and a half left, and Tampa. In hurry up mode. Let's see if they spike the ball. And they do with a minute 22 left here in the first half. Denisha Crossford, that was the best pass she had. Oh, all game. absolutely. By yeah. far. She gave herself some time and she actually set herself up and hit the hit Wilder on the crossing route. She set her feet. It made a great look at that right there. Perfect. And Wilder did a good job of getting downfield, getting the first down. Give goes to Steinman. She gets away from one tackler, gets inside the 15. She continues to move forward down to about the 13 yard line. Angela Perfetto finally on the stop, but uh, that but second, third, fourth effort. What, what I liked about that is Jenny Butler came up and caused her to stop her momentum. And once that happened, it was able to get the rest of the Philly offense or rest of the Philly defense come over and swarm tackle stay. Looking, looking, starts to run it. She didn't see anybody open. Now is gonna run and she's going nowhere. Biz, uh, that didn't look good from the start. Is it a fumble? Is it a fumble? Are they calling her down? Yeah, she was down. Jenny Butler with the stop with Jenna Robertson as well. Now this should be fourth down. They're 36 seconds, and I'll tell you right now, they're not hurrying up to the offense, but this is the last play probably of the half. Poor decision. Poor decision. She should have thrown the ball away, stopped the clock, would have more time to run another play. Crawford fades back, has time, throws, and it's incomplete. She was looking for Wilder, and Wilder had it, but couldn't hang on. But I don't think she would have had enough for a first down, Biz. Well, no, I don't think so either. And once again, it would have been, it wasn't in the touchdown. They had to go for, they had to go for six. They would have been tackled at the 11-yard line. The clock would have ran out, and guess what? What good is that? Yeah. You know, you got to go downfield. And you know something? He told us earlier, Mary Rose Roach can throw the length of the field. And he's got two good receivers that go go the distance. Philly with only six players on the field. Well, Mary Rose went off the field. Looks like Heather Roy now comes in. Yeah, Jenny Butler is the uh, back behind Bell, and it's a give. Butler with a huge hole gets across the 20, and Liz Gorman with a serious tackle. Liz had a little frustration there, and that might be the last play of the half. They want to try and spike the football. And they do. Oh. She did get a spike, so now 2.9 seconds left. It's nice to have a veteran quarterback like Christy Bell understands, hey, we still have a chance to score here, okay? Quick, quick getting up to the huddle. But look, Jenny Butler, great move here. And Liz Gorman's got some frustration once again. Slams her to the ground. Gotta love to see that. She hits like Ed Reed. I love to see that by <laughs> Gorman. She's got a lot of frustration being down 26 to nothing. Bell likes that slant pattern. She's pretty good at throwing it. Rolls out to the right side, looking long, and that one's incomplete. It was overthrown. 26 nothing. Oh my. Oh, this is the Mary Rose Road Show, I'm telling you right now. Just a continuation of what they did last year. Great half by Taylor Brown, the Philadelphia Passion. Tampa's got to regroup, I'm telling you. Yeah, they've got a lot of questions to answer right now, down 26 to nothing. 
Let's go down to the field. Lauren Gardner standing by with Yoel Murphy. Lauren, take it away. Thank you very much, Tom. Coach, obviously some frustration on your side. <laughs> what is it going to take to slow down that lethal backfield with Mary Rose Roach and Jenny Butler? You know, we're just not playing our assignments. We already talked about how good she is, but if you don't do what you're supposed to do, it doesn't matter who's back there, you know. But, you know, she's a great back. There's no excuse. If we're in the right spots, we'll stop them. Any thoughts on replacing QB with uh, rookie Mariah Tiona? She's going to get a chance. She's definitely going to get a chance. I don't know if we'll come out with a half with her, but she's definitely going to get an opportunity. All right, Coach. This game is far from over. What is your message to this team during halftime? you got to step up. You know, I mean, it's it, a loss isn't a loss, but it's how you, you know, lose. We're out there defeated, head down, shoulders. So we got to come out fighting. Whatever happens, happens. But we got to come out fighting second half. Absolutely. Thanks, Coach. I'll let you get back here. Guys. 26 nothing, Lauren. Nice job with Yo Murphy. It has been the Mary Rose Road Show. It's no surprise. It's 26 nothing, and she has been a one-woman wrecking crew, and she's wrecked the Tampa Bay Breeze. We'll be right back. Twenty-six nothing. Philly has been terrific here in the first half. Let's go inside of the Tampa locker room, and Liz Gorman is going to address her team. Yeah, they want it more than us. That's all it fucking is. They want it more than us. Do we want it or not? Hell yeah. Come on, you guys. Well, Biz, I don't think as a coach you could ask more from a player. That's it. That's all that needed to be said. Yeah, it really did. I'm telling you right now. What I saw from that is Liz Gorman is not really happy with her teammates right now. Here's our stats, numbers from the first half. Rushing for Philly, 97 yards. Mary Rose Roach. Yeah, exactly. See the third down and fourth down numbers, three for three. Third down, no fourth down for the Philadelphia Passion. 26 nothing is our score. Philly has been unbelievable with Mary Rose Roach. We keep saying her name, but she is that good. And she celebrates with the fans. Philly not only pitching a shutout, but scored 26. And the Baltimore Charm here taken in the game. We'll see them. Next week they will take on Orlando and a much improved Orlando team. That'll be next Friday night here on LFL Friday Night Football. Take a look at our Mary Rose Roach first half highlights because obviously she's done just about everything they've needed except sell popcorn. The cutback here by Roach getting away from tacklers and just accelerating through tackles. She keeps those feet moving. Here the job is wait two seconds and then run the football. And that's just what she does. Comes around the right side, runs into her own tackle, and now comes around the left side and just beats everybody into the end zone. And finally, Roach around the left side, takes her time, and then just hammers that football into the end zone. Whoa. Twenty six nothing our score Philadelphia with the lead over Tampa. It has been an impressive Philadelphia first half second halves coming up. And back inside the Sun National Bank Center second half about to be underway. Warren Gardner alongside Philly's head coach Chandler Brown. These are up 26 zip. You seemed a little bit nervous prior to tonight's game. I think it's pretty safe to say uh, those butterflies are not going. Yo, Murphy does a great job with his team. You know, we have another half with the play strong. If we do, we can pull away with it. Let's talk about Jenny Butler for a second. You already have Mary Rose Roach in that backfield. Jenny Butler obviously playing a little bit of women's league football. She's ridiculous out there. You said she was going to be good, but we didn't know that. She works hard. She deserves everything that comes her way. Absolutely. Key to the second half. Uh, keep, keep executing all our plays. All right. Looks like we're underway here, guys. Take it away. 
All right, thanks, Lauren. Set for the kick. And the kick is going to go over the receiver's head and hit that back wall. And it will be first down at the 15 yard line. Brittany's got Brittany Williams got to catch that on the fly so she can take it back. We need some kind of game changing momentum here for Tampa coming out in this first series. They need a lot right now. But you can't make a 26 point touchdown. It's impossible. No. So you need to score in this. You know, for the for the mental capacity for the team, you need to go out and score so they're not whip, whip down. Liz Gorman was right. Have some pride out there. Do something to create some offense for this team so you have something positive to go. Mariah Tiona, 5'7", 115 pounder from Boca Raton, is the quarterback. She's 18 years old and she's ready to go. Um, he talked about it earlier. It's a secret weapon. Tiona under center, hands off to Liz Gorman. Oh my! Gorman it was hammered right at the line of scrimmage. Shanae Thomas again, terrific on the stop. I don't know if I'm going to believe Chandler anymore. He told me Shanae Thomas wasn't going to play that much. She's coming in and having a game tonight. She's making a difference. She's just blowing it up in there. Second and ten. After what he said was no game. Now she's going to fade back. Throw looking down the field. Well, we know one thing. She got better arm oh, than Denisha Crawford. Definitely a better arm. And once again, Shanae Thomas is putting so much pressure over there. Sage did a good job of blocking her, but seriously, Shanae Thomas is having a game at defensive end. I'm telling you. She's putting that pressure on her, made her throw a little bit long, but once again, that you're right, Tommy. That arm is so much better than what we saw earlier. So third down now. Handoff goes to Steinmetz, comes around the right side, and look at this Philly defense. And Biz, it's not just one person, it's three, four, five people on the tackles. And that was Jenny Butler, okay? We're gonna hear that name all season from Philly. Their safeties are Roach and Butler, and they can fly to the ball. And he told me Butler isn't gonna be back. It's gonna be Butler close to that line of scrimmage, and she's gonna look to knock someone out. Fourth down. She'll fade. Got some time. Now gets a nice block. Now she decides she's going to run it, and that may not have been the best decision. Jenny Butler on the stop. Wow. What a defensive show to start this second half, and it will now be Philly football. Let's listen in. Got that speed. I'm telling you, she is she she is gonna be a force in this league. A little confusion in Tampa. Christy Bell fakes the handoff. Now rolls, throws, and this one is caught inside the 10, makes a nice move to get outside, and she's going down at about the five-yard line. Liz Gorman at the stop. Whitney, Whitney again, Piranha. She did, Whitney a, Piranish, okay. she did a great move on Julie Roffey right there, and I tell you. Good safe play right in the middle. She likes that little crossing pattern. Christy does. Good pattern. Got the pass out of the way. Now they're at the five yard line. Don't be surprised if we don't see Roach in the backfield again. Roach has got it. This is a straight run. Oh my, what a shot! And she is in. She hit Liz Gorman hard. Gorman slow to get up. Mary Rose Roach is the unstoppable force. In the LFL. Oh, 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 Roach! Unbelievable right here. Look at this. She put her head down and ran right through Gorman. And I tell you, that hurts. Oh, she yeah. put her head. We don't know. They don't wear much pads in the LFL, I'll tell you right now. Ne definitely not like the NFL. That's got to hurt. But it's a Roach show right now. Bell fades back, throws into the corner, and the pass is just overthrown and incomplete. Looking for Orgy again. Incomplete. And this has been an unbelievable show by Mary Rose Roach. Oh, look at the blocking up front by Robertson, Roy, boom. And then running over Liz Gorman, the best safety in the league, knocking her down. And that doesn't happen very often because Liz can lay a lick, I'm telling you. 
She hits hard. Oh, she does, and she competes. But Mary Rose isn't going to back down from anybody. That's what I love about her. She runs hard. She's quick. She's got those moves. She's got the moves like Barry Sanders, and she hits like Walter Payton. Denisha Crawford back in at quarterback. Crawford hands off. And a fumble on the handoff. Sammy Nevin got it in and finally comes around the left side. Got about three on the play. Make it second and seven. Whitney Peronish on the stop. They've gone to that play a few times, and, and once again, the only person I'd run on that play would, would probably be Sage. She's got the speed to get there. You know, she's they're running with these other linemen that don't have the speed like Sage. I don't think it works as well unless you have that deception of speed. Crawford now with the keeper comes around the right side, and I think somebody got confused and she just ducked outside. Oh, come on, put your head in there. Are you serious? That's the LFL, you bail out and go out of bounds? You're, you're the quarterback of the team, you're trying to rally around you, and you bail out of bounds? I don't understand that. She could have put her head down and got the first down, and what did she do? She ran out of bounds. I've never seen that in the two years in the LFL. I'm and she you. came out. After that play, she has come out. I wouldn't put her back in. If that was my quarterback, I'm telling you. Go back to the person who, want, who wants it more. Mariah Tiona is the one who is back in at quarterback, and she'll fade back now, steps up, throws. And she had a little pressure. Liz Gorman came up there. Oh, yeah. Protecting against Jenny Butler. And that would be a pretty good matchup, partner. Uh, great matchup right there. Two hard hitters. Jenny's not going to back down. Liz is not going to back down. Yeah, exactly. Liz is the only one who's got fire here in Tampa. Maybe a little bit of sage, but right now we need somebody else who has fire other than Liz Gorman for Tampa to be successful. Because I tell you, that quarterback. Uh, I saw what I saw from Denise Crawford going out of bounds. I, that just does not oh, sit well with yeah, her. That, uh, yeah, exactly. Tiona yeah, fades back, throws over the middle, and it's incomplete. Intended for Julie Rawl. And it's Philly ball one more time. This defense has just been unbelievable, partner. I don't know. I don't know what else you could say about the Philadelphia defense. We'll take a break. 11:49 left. 32 nothing. Philly with the lead. Break time. We'll be right back. You know we've kind of been tough on Tampa but to be fair Philly is terrific. Well you know it's great to have the returning offense from last year. Everyone's back. They know Chandler's offense and it's simple. Give the ball to Roach. I mean seriously that's their offense. And they have a great offensive line. And they're making a difference. Fake a give to Roach. Bell looking down the field and that was way underthrown and incomplete. Did I see a back shoulder throw like Aaron Rodgers That's last night? That's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> uh, I tell you right now, like I said before, this offensive line of Roy Robinson and LaBella might be the top three offensive, you know, best offensive line in the NFL, really. You know, next to L.A., you know, I'm partial to L.A. because I coach there, but right. seriously, that's the difference of this team. They, they get on their blocks, they create holes for Mary Rose, and if there's no hole, she does it herself. Now Roach coming in motion to the near side. Bell fakes a pass, look in and threw that behind the receiver, and we had a little pick play there, Biz. Oh, Lauren LaBell set the best pick in the world, and I, I'm telling you, it's very hard to call that in the LFL, but seriously, that was a great pick by Lauren LaBell. Chandler, great play call, but that was a great pick right there, I'm telling you. Um, Philly, what do they do? They come out and pass twice. They're smart. You got to pass every four, two passes every four downs. They pass them first and second down. Why? Because now they can give it to Roach or Butler. Fake a give, and now it's going to be a long pass looking up the field, and it is incomplete. Fans wanted pass interference, but Brittany Williams did a nice job. Tracy uh, Tyra Lusby was deep in the intended receiver, and it brings up fourth down. Well, you know, they did a great job. It was something we didn't expect, and once again, Chandler's putting on all the stops. He already got Roach five touchdowns, LFL record, and once again here. They did something a little bit different. They're trying to open expand their playbook. 
give goes to Roach. Here she comes around the left side. Now cuts back, and she's going to lose yardage. Nice job, Liz Gorman, among others, there on the stop. And for the first time, they stopped Mary Rose Roach, who, by the way, has an LFL record five touchdowns in a game. And oh, by the way, she's got a little more time left. Oh, a lot more time left. Almost 10 minutes. And you know something? I think Liz and Sage finally took, took it upon themselves to say, hey, we're not going to worry about anything else but spying on Roach. And those two came up, made the play, and hopefully that kind of, you know, gives us some kind of spark to this Tampa offense because really they don't look too good right now. I'm no. telling you, KK is not in there. KK Matheny's on suspension, and they're trying a new quarterback, um, but they don't look very good right now. All right, Tony back in at quarterback. Gorman is the back behind her. Rolf goes in motion to the far side. Takes a give, now rolls back, steps up in the pocket. Now she's going to run it, does a nice job. Gets around the 25, out to about the 20 yard line. The ball, I think, came loose, and now we got people pushing and shoving, and some angry football players. Jenny Butler with the stop. <laughs> Julissa McCray was not happy with that extra little shot she got. Once again, Jenny Butler came up, and she hits hard. Oh, she can't even use pads. And Chandler told me he, he takes the pads off, the helmet off. She cannot tackle in practice. She's they're scared. Took out their number one receiver in, in practice, and she's sitting on the silence for, for the entire year. They say she made a hit so far in the 11 on 11 game as she rolls out to the right side now. Steps up throw. Oh, nice pass. Just could not be brought in. How can you drop that Macy Lowry? Seriously, that's right in your hands. It was a great play. You know, hey, I like this quarterback. She's at least getting the ball downfield. She's making something happen. She took a hit. She didn't back and go out of bounds like, you know, Denise did. And I'm telling you, I, I kind of like this girl coming in here commanding this offense. And look at Liz Gorman's in the backfield. See if they go Sage's way. Third down. She's going to roll out again. Steps up, throws back across the field, and it's caught first down and more inside the five, down to about the two yard line. <laughs> Sage Steinman. We said they're going to, it's a Liz Gorman, Sage Steinman show, but I'm telling you right now, I like what I see from this quarterback. Mariah is doing a very good job of finding the open receiver. A little roll out right, come back left. Ooh, look at that. And Sage is just a ready to deliver a hit on Roach. Nice read by the quarterback. Good play call. Play clock down to three, two, and they just did get that off, and they didn't know. There, there, there were problems from the start, and nothing doing. Like I said before, on the goal line, it's really tough to be under center because once again, the girls are right on top of you. You have absolutely no time, and everyone can come. So once again, there's not a lot of blocking for you. And to have a rookie quarterback trying to run the option down at the five yard line, I don't know if that's the best play call. She's been getting it down the field by her arm. Give her a little bit of time, put her in shotgun, and let her throw the ball like she has been doing and moving you down the field. Tiona, and somebody went the wrong way there. Jenny Butler made her pay the price. A uh, sack that goes back to about the 11 yard line and now it is third and goal from the 11. Yeah, and they've gotten rid of the two two run. Let's listen in. <laughs> you make a mistake with Jenny Butler there. Oh, that's you, not you're, you're going to pay. And once again, somebody went in the wrong direction. It was either Liz or Mariah, but that did not look good. Third and goal. She'll step up, throws, and that one's intercepted. She threw it right to the defender, and Philly will get it out to about the 10 yard line. Philly has just been terrific. Heather Roy with the interception. We've got a timeout on the field. 32 0 with six minutes and 12 seconds left here in New Jersey.
sexual robes here, and each and every one of their teammates has written something nice about each other. Thank you very much. About themselves, they have one for every one of them. Very nice things here. Proud to say you're my quarterback, positive leader, good person. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure the team building has worked. Tom, Biz, what do you think? And Lauren, I think it's going to be your job to bring a rope for the broadcast crew next week <laughs> and write all the positive messages because they won't come from me and Biz, unfortunately. <laughs> 6-10 left. Bell. Give goes around the left side. That's Tyra Lusby. Two years ago, Tyra Lusby was the running back in the LFL, and now she gets out to about the 13 or 14 yard line. Look out. A little frustration here, Biz. Uh oh, they're all coming over the side. You got to pull them out. Just stay away now. You don't need a fight to break out here. Just pull them off, Philly. Chandler, get him off the field. We don't need to see this in the LFL, trust me. Yo Murphy doing a great job along with Chandler Brown of getting their players off the field. That's pure frustration right there. Yeah, exactly. And it, you know what? If it didn't happen, Biz, I might be a little bit disappointed with Tampa at this point. Yeah, you know, they're doing something to fire him up. They're doing whatever they can, but Philly, hey. It's hard to go in the road and start a fight. I'm telling you. You don't win those very often. They got 25 girls coming off the bench, and you got 12 or 14. It's really tough. The numbers are against you, but once again, we don't need that. Unsportsmanlike on both teams, so they're just offsetting penalties. But I've seen many yellow flags tonight. No, you know, and once again, what I like about this crew is we haven't talked about them all day. Yeah. You know, last week, the week before, we've had two rough crews that. We're making some calls that we just didn't understand, but this crew has got it right, and I like it. I love just talking about the girls. Yeah, exactly. Bell gives it to Butler, makes a nice cutback. Look at her just scoot right up the field. Out to about the 19-yard line, make it third down and a yard. Elise Alberg with the stop. Well, it's good. It looks like they're back to normal, back to playing football, and that's what I like to see. Elise Alberg made a great job there making that tackle. Now, once again, they got two runs out of the way. Now, the next two things will be a pass. Even though it's third and an inch, they got to throw. Let's listen in. <laughs> now, this was a give to Butler. She makes a cutback across the 25, out to about the 22-yard line. That's a penalty. I don't understand. They should be calling that right now. That is three runs in a row. And that's what, uh, let's listen in again. I don't understand. Wasn't the first play reversed to Lusby? Yeah, it was. Second play was a dive to Butler, and that was yep. the third play. Once again, you got to call that. And here goes Butler around the left side, and Liz Gorman there with a hard hit. Uh, Liz Gorman doesn't stop. No, she's Score not. doesn't matter. I mean, it does, but it's not going to stop or change the way she plays. That's why she's all everything in fantasy, and she was a defensive player of the year the first year. She doesn't quit, and that's what I love to see in a player, and I love to have someone like that on my team because she is, doesn't care what the score is. She's still going to go in there and try her hardest and really hit and make sure that uh, she doesn't quit. Bell fades back, looking down the field, throws, and it's caught. Touchdown, Stephanie Orgy. Her second score, the first was a two-point conversion. Now she puts six on the board. Oh, good throw by Christy Bell. She laid it out there for her once again. And Stephanie Orgy, we talked about this. Look at this throw. Easy. Beat Brittany Williams, but I'll tell you right now, Stephanie Orgy, we might be hearing about her later. Chandler talked about her. Once she gets used to the plays and gets used to being in this offense, you'll see a lot more of her in the games to come. Going for one here. Lob to Orgy, and she's there. The one-point conversion is good. I Chandler Brown has found a weapon, I think. I think he's found a weapon, but he's also found the same play for the extra point. If yeah. I'm playing them, I'm putting four people on Stephanie Orgy, because that's the only play they got. Three minutes, 47 seconds left. 40 to nothing. The Philadelphia Passion flexing their muscles here at home on this touchdown to Stephanie Orgy. We'll take a break and come right back. Wow, what a performance.
three minutes 47 seconds left 40 nothing Philly and it hasn't been all offense they've been terrific on defense Jenny Butler has hit some big hits let's listen in. I don't know what else you say, Biz. Hey, that's another weapon for Chandler Brown. Like he needed any more. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Well, Tampa needs to find something here pretty soon. Denisha Crawford is in. Crawford rolls out, throws back, and I think that pass bounced before it got to Sage Steinman, so it's incomplete. Yep, it's incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, you know. I don't know what quarterback they're going to go with, but they got to find something that works by next game. Because so far, they haven't moved the ball. It, you know, really, Mariah did a great job in that last series up until the very last play uh, of moving the ball down the field. But they need to find something that's going to work in Tampa's offense. Now she'll be the lone setback as Gorman comes in motion and Tampa move. Elise Auburn. Moved. Full start, 15 on the offense. Five yard penalty, second down. What, what did I just tell you? Mistake after mistake yeah. after mistake. And Tampa's got to do something by the time they play next to, to revert this offense back to what it was last year. And maybe the suspended players coming back can change that. But well, KK Matheny's going to make a difference. Tiffany Power's going to make a difference. Brent Render's terrific. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, what we've seen tonight, it, they've really missed that leadership. Yeah. It? Crawford rolls out to the right side, throws this one about as far as she can, and it goes out of bounds. And that was not a pretty pass. No, and, and they had a great, you know, Jet, Whitney Peronish had great um, coverage on that play. Um, and really, you can see the difference between the two quarterbacks. I think, you know, once again, Mariah did a very good job of getting the ball downfield. I think she's better at the short to medium routes, you know, 10 to 15 yards, but yeah. the long ones, I don't think she's got the arm for it. Third down now. Third and 15. Got all day to throw the football. Steps up, does throw, and it's too high and incomplete. Well, they did a great job, Sammy Nevin. Um, and Sage did a great job giving her time that time to throw the ball. But once again, um, we got to get the ball on spot. And it's got to be to somebody. Two minute warning, and we're going to take a break here. It is 40 0 Philadelphia with the lead. It has been a terrific show by the passion from the kickoff in this game. We'll take a right break. Next week, we head due south on I-95 for two of the LFL's most exciting wineouts. Jenny Krause of the Orlando Fantasy and Brittany Tegler of the Baltimore Charm meet up in a key Eastern Conference showdown. It should be a pass-happy night next Friday on the shores of the Chesapeake here on LFL Friday Night Football. Well, our MVP tonight is Mary Rose Roach. I know this is no surprise. Five touchdowns in the game. Roach has set a record. 118 total yards. And here comes Your her MVP celebration. <laughs> number six, Mary Rose Roach. <laughs> she is the MVP of the league. Oh, right there. goodness, yeah. You know, it's it's great to watch her live, and if anybody can go out and see her when she's in town, she's just amazing to watch. She's she's a combination of Barry Sanders, Jim Brown, and Walter Payton. There you go. I appreciate you bringing that in. No problem. I know you like the Walter reference. Yeah, I, I do. Didn't go, I didn't go to Jim Taylor or anything like that, but that's okay. <laughs> but you will. Later on. Before the year's done, yeah. <laughs> Denisha Crawford's back in at quarterback for Tampa. Crawford. Sets up throws and it's incomplete. This is what Liz Gorman does. It is 40 to nothing. Gorman goes into the sideboard trying to catch that pass and it's incomplete. And she was wide open. She was wide open and great play call 
Denise Crawford's got to get her. She's wide open. Got to get her. And the ball. Elise Gorman is not going to give up. Look at this. 40 to nothing. She does not care there's a wall there. She's going to go way, way out to go get that. She's not giving up. And once again, we saw that at halftime with the passion for the game. We saw her basically trying to rally her troops. So, you know, it's very tough when the quarterback play we've seen tonight from Tampa is not what they need. They need KK Matheny back there really bad. So that was fourth down. Now it is Philly ball. Bell fades back, steps up, throws, and I think somebody was supposed to go outside. Lusby turned inside instead of going outside, and Bell kind of looked at her for a second. Where are you going? Uh, what are you doing? Well, you know, I, I don't know who had the wrong play call there, either Lusby or Bell, but that did not look good. But, you know, they gave you a chance to, to get the pass out of the way. Bell hands off. This is Jenny Butler, and Butler gets away. Wow, what a touchdown. Oh. Jenny Butler, unbelievable second effort, and she's in. What an unbelievable. That's your second running back? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What second effort by this girl? She hits like a brick on defense, and look at that. You go high on her, she is not going to go down. That second effort is amazing from her. Great job by Jenny Butler. Going for one here. Bell, guess what play they're going to run, Ouch. and it's incomplete. Is Chandler just afraid to show us any other play in his playbook? Well, he figures, why do it? Yeah, he's up 46. I'm not going to show you any other play but the fade to Stephanie Orgy. Well, he's got, well, look at the schedule that's coming up. What Chandler Brown, the head coach of the Philadelphia Passion, is looking at is why do I show anything else? They're at Cleveland on October the 29th, at Baltimore on November 18th, and then December 9th, Toronto. It's a really nice schedule for them. A game a month, a game a month, a game a month. Oh, Chandler, how easy is that schedule for you? Seriously. I mean, it's nice. It's nice to have a game. And they don't play Orlando, which is probably their best, best opponent in yeah. the East. Yeah. Jonah steps in, looking long, and throws that football, and that could have been caught, Biz. She it was incomplete. That's a pretty good throw. Yeah, Brittany Williams gave up on that play, and it was actually a pretty good throw. She made the cut, and she stopped. Lauren, what's up? Well, Tom, for all those playing fantasy football, right here with our LFL team, hey, you know what? Chandler Brown just came up to the LFL commissioner, Mitch Mortaza, saying, you know what, Mitch, I know that you had Jenny Butler on your fantasy team, so I went ahead and gave you that last score. <laughs> she only cost $100,000. Oh my. That was almost at the back wall. It is, they're saying, off the back wall. That's a safety. Well, wow, things can't get much worse for Tampa, can they? Oh, bad play call. Unbelievable. Over center. Look at it, snaps way over center. And she tries to do anything. Now, once again, she could have picked that up and thrown it out of bounds, but they didn't have to take a safety. They could have thrown that ball out of play. Who's in there fighting for it? It's Liz Gorman one more time. Can't say enough about her. Oh, you know, she is not going to give up. Her teammates have to respect that in her. The result of the play was a safety. Philadelphia has the ball, first down. Bye. Well, I suspect Chandler's just going to kneel on yeah, the ball. Yeah, he'll run, he'll run the clock I think out 48 here. points is enough. Uh, well, wait a minute, once again, wait a second, we're, maybe not. And Butler just gets sacked hard. Nice job by Courtney Wilder. You know, I don't know what, I don't want to hear, you know, you got your starting quarterback in there, 48-0. You're dropping back to throw a bomb. I mean, seriously, uh, you don't want to get her hurt, okay? You don't have someone in the backfield that can take over for her. Uh, why don't you sit on this ball? You're up 48 points. I think 48 points is enough to cover the team. Yeah, go down on one knee here, right? Yeah. I would, but once again, I think he wants to score in front of his own fans. He doesn't want to just give up right here. And now a flag goes down. Delay a game. Dead ball. Full start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Second down.
And you've got to think that, again, they'll just go to one knee here. Doesn't look like it. It looks like they want to give them a chance to throw the ball downfield, get more people into the action. Give goes to Butler. Here she comes. Oh, what a hard tackle. Oh, my. Oh, and look at that. Jenny Butler's hurt once again. You take that risk. It doesn't make sense. At the end of the game, up 48 nothing. Jenny Butler's walking off the field, hobbling. You don't need that kind of play. You're down at the 10-yard line. You don't need to score. You get a chance to get one of your premier players hurt. Why are you running the ball? I don't know. Chandler, that's a terrible call play on your end. I, I just don't understand it. You may hurt one of your premier players by doing something stupid at the end of the game. Final score tonight from Sun National Bank Center. 48-0 Philadelphia with the win over Tampa. Now we're rolling up the turf, turning off the lights, and we're heading to Baltimore for week four action next Friday night when the Baltimore Charm hosts the Orlando Fantasy, a very improved Orlando team. The action comes your way live from our rockin' first Mariner Arena at 10 Eastern next Friday night on MTV2. On behalf of Biz, Lauren Gardner, and the rest of our LFL crew, this is Tom Dore wishing you a great night from Trenton, New Jersey. We'll look forward to seeing you next Saturday night in Baltimore. It was a terrific show tonight by Mary Rose Roach, who set an LFL record with five touchdowns and a 48-0 Philadelphia win. Good night, everybody.